Hi, welcome to the Lincoln Park Conservatory in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Jackie, and today we're going to explore this wonderful 125-year-old building. Early in the 20th century, Chicago had five conservatories throughout the city. Today, the only original city Chicago Park District Conservatory left is right here. It was built over a five-year period from 1890 to 1895, and you might recall one of the stars on the Chicago flag is the 1893 Columbian Exposition. So two rooms of this conservatory were built just in time for all of the visitors who came in to Chicago for the exposition were able to come and see our brand new conservatory. It was designed by an early architect, early graduate architect of MIT named James Lyman Silsby. He took the lead in designing the main, the public houses of this building. He was very ably assisted by another man named Mifflin Emlyn Bell, who was responsible for the grow houses. Both of these architects have beautiful products all over the country, but this in Chicago is their most important work. The Lincoln Park Conservatory is constructed of a stone base, which we'll see when we go outside and look at the exterior. But then it has a steel skeleton that sits on top of that base. And in that skeleton are panes of glass. Every one of these panes, every piece of glass you see is an individual pane in this building. So part of the reason conservatories weren't built earlier in history, there were two reasons. One is we didn't know how to mass produce steel beams like this until late in uh, the 19th century, nor did we know how to mass produce glass in large quantities. Um, once that was figured out and then how to connect glass to metal, then the conservatory movement was really able to take off with massive conservatories in Europe and here in the United States. Here we are in the Palm House and the biggest, it's the biggest room, the highest domes in the ceiling, ceiling. and um, holding up those domes are these massive columns. This is actually what holds up the heaviest part of this room, the highest part of this room. There are eight of these concrete reinforced I think you can see. The base is probably three by three with the iron column going up above the concrete. You'll also see this wheel with chain. We have a lot of these that uh, you'll see around. These are still used. They're the original and they're used to open the vents up in the upper area of the conservatory. So depending on the temperature in here, whether it's too hot or too cold, needs more air, uh, the gardeners here know what these plants need and can open and close the windows as necessary just by spinning these wheels. In addition to these large columns in this area, we also have a series of 22 smaller columns. Can you see it? Smaller columns around that support the lower part of the conservatory window structure and skeleton. 22 of them, you can see they're much smaller, they don't have as much weight, and they're not nearly as tall. But 22 of them just in this room around the periphery. One of the things that's really interesting about having these huge cast columns is that plants like them too. <laughs> they sometimes get in our way, so we have to cut them back around the wheels. Um, but you can see how this philodendron has gone crazy for this uh, post and has wound its way up. I think, always think this one particularly is interesting because it almost looks like an imaginary octopus arm uh, going around and uh, it's very, very happy here. This is an, a really nice outside view of the way the roof fits together over the palm house. Do you see the various levels and how they each dome into each other? You might ask, well, I thought it was glass. Why is it white? Well, we, um, early in the spring, we whitewash all of the glass at the beginning of the season so that as the summer goes off, the whitewash eventually goes away so that it helps keep the 
conservatory cool instead of burning the plants. I heard a story that once upon a time it went too fast and some of the plants uh, got a little too hot. <laughs> So here's, here's a closer view of, of the foundation that we talked about, is this great stone work. And on top of that, we have the glass and the metal windows and skeleton of the conservatory. It's also fun from here to see how very tall it is, 52 feet. Just like in the 1890s, indoor gardens bring joy and light and variety and color to us during our often gray Chicago days. So when you can, whether it's virtu virtually through videos that we have online or in reality, please come and visit again. There's always something new. This is a growing place. Everything changes every day, it seems. There are surprises to be found in every corner. Please take care and uh, thank you for joining us here.